LSAT 70, game one. We have six bands, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We have six spots at the concert. We have four conditions. We need to put these in order. So this is a straightforward ordering problem. Let's look at the conditions. We have the V is before Z, W and Z before X, U is somewhere in four, five, and six, and Y is in one, two, and three. So let's combine conditions where we can. We have V is before Z, which is before X, so we can just put a, a V here, and that covers the V before Z condition. And now U in the last three and Y in the first three. The way I'd like to do that is just make a line and say Y is one of these, and U is one of these, and that way just put that information up there with our game board, and now we're ready to answer the questions. Question number one says, which of the following cannot be the band that plays in the fifth spot? So we know that Y is one of the first three, but it's not one of our choices. Which of the others can't be fifth? Well, we start by looking at the things that seem to be the most leading, right? V is in front of Z and X. So there's always two things after V. So there's no way V can be in the fifth spot. So B is the correct answer. All the others, you can take a look. U, W, X, and Z. You could put them in the fifth spot. If you put W or Z there, X has to be after it. But you can work it out. Number two says, if Z is before Y, what is the earliest spot that W could be? So if we put a copy of all this here so that we can make changes, we have a new hypothesis, Z is before Y. So I'm going to add that to the diagram. And now I'm looking at V before Z before Y, knowing that Y is one of these first three spots. And that tells me that the only way I can keep Y in the first three, with this being true, is to put V, Z, and Y here. Okay, and so that takes care of this, and this, that whole chain is done. So all we have left is that W is before X, and U is also in the last three. I'm going to write the W before X over here. And so these can go, we don't know if U is 4, 5, or 6, but W has to be before X. What's the earliest that W could be? Well, it could be in the fourth spot. There's no problem with that, right? We could have W in the fourth spot, and then U and X either order in the last two spots. So C is th the answer. Number three says, if V is in the third slot, which of the following must be true? So if we add to our diagram our new hypothesis, V is third, and see, what does this mean? Well, Z and X have to be after V. So I have to have Z and X in the last three. U also has to be in the last three. That occupies all of the four, five, and six spots, right? So W and Y are the only things left. And so I'll just put a W here and a Y here, and then a switch over top to say that we don't know which one is first. And so this is what we know. So what has to be true? Does U have to be before X? No, you could be in the sixth spot. W before Z. Yeah, Z can't be any earlier than 4, W can't be later than 2, W has to be before Z. X before U, no, that doesn't have to be true. We could have X in the last spot. Y before W, those could go in either order. Z before U, no, we could have U in the fourth spot. So B is the only one that must be true. Number four says, if Z is immediately before W, which of the following must be true? So if we make another copy of this, so we can add our new hypothesis, we've got Z immediately before W. So let's change this. If I take X and move it out here, and then have Z immediately before W, and then X. So now I've got V, I've got ZW, I've got X, Y has to be in the first half, U has to be in the second half. What has to be true? So there's a lot of ways we could arrange this, but let's notice, I can't have V, Z, and W all in the first half. 
because then there'd be no room for y there, right? And I can't have z, w, and x all in the second half because there'd be no room for u. So this z, w block, okay, it can't be entirely in the first half or entirely in the second half. And so it's going to have to be split up, right? Z in the third spot, W in the fourth spot, so that we have room for both V and Y over here, and X and U. And so I'm going to write V and Y here. We don't know which order. X and U here. We don't know the order. And so these are our possibilities. So must be true, not just could be true. U in the fifth spot could be true, not must be true. V in the first spot could happen, but doesn't have to be true. X in the fifth spot doesn't have to be true. Y in the second spot doesn't have to be true. Z in the third spot, there we are. We have to have Z in the third spot. So E is the correct answer. Number five asks, which is a complete and accurate list that could be first? Complete list has everything that could be first, an accurate list doesn't contain anything that could not be first. Let's start thinking about the things that could not be first and eliminating those. So Z and X have V before it. So Z and X can never be first. So let's erase Z and X here. U is in 4, 5, and 6, so it can't be first. So our only possibilities are V, W, and Y. And on the immediate previous problem, we had the we had V and Y both as possible for being first. So we know these guys can be first. Can W be first? In fact, I think we saw that on an earlier one too, but since it's been a while, we'll, we'll write it out. If I put W first, then I can put Y here, and then V, Z, X, and U. So W also can be first. So all three of these can be first, and so, this one, D, has V, Y, and W. This one has Z, so it's not an accurate list. And these three are not complete lists, because all three of these can be first. Number six says, if W is immediately before X, which of the following could be true? So let's make a copy of this and see what we can conclude. If W is immediately before X, then we must have that Z is before this wx block, right? Because nothing can be between w and x, and z is before x, right, from our old hypotheses. Now, what are the possibilities here? So, if I have this wx block here, then u goes after it. If I put that 5 and 6, and U goes before it. And we could wonder, is there another possibility? Could I have W in the third spot, X in the fourth spot? Well, no, because V and Z have to be before it, and Y has to be in the first three, so there's only you know two spots left if I put W in the third spot for Y, V, and Z. So these are the only two places I can put W, X. Okay, so then I have the first three are going to be V before Z and Y in some order. Okay, so which could be true? Could U be in the fifth spot? No, it could not. Either X or W is in the fifth spot. Could V be in the third spot? Well, no, V has to be before Z, so V can only be first and second. Could W be in the third spot? No, W is either fourth or fifth, we determined. Z in the second spot. Yeah, that's, that's fine, right? We could, in either of these scenarios, have like V, Z, Y, right? Z in the second spot works. Now, if, Last choice says Z in the fourth spot, but no, fourth spot is occupied. So D is the only one that could be true. Number seven is a rule substitution question. 
it asks which rule if we substitute it for the rule that says that w and z are before x okay so this is the rule that we're substituting here which of these rules if we use it in place of this rule would have the same effect so we need to make sure that with the new rule set when we add this rule and remove this one that we allow everything that was allowed before and prohibit everything that was prohibited before okay so a says only u can be after x okay before could anything other than u be after x well certainly not vz or w and y could never be after x because x was always pushed into the second half because it has these three things in front of it so u was the only thing that was allowed to be after x before okay well if we make that our new rule only u can be after x what are we saying well we're saying everything else everything that's not u must be before x so we're saying w is before x z is before x v and y are also before x which we got without having said it explicitly before so yeah this is equivalent this this rule that says only u is after x it forces w and z to be for, before x and our old rule forced only u to be after x so a is equivalent Okay, let's look at how the other ones don't work. V before W before Z. Well, we didn't have a requirement that W had to be before Z before, so this is going to be too restrictive. It's going to prevent things that were allowed before. V and W have to be before X. Well, V and W did have to be before X before, but we also had Z before X. This is going to this rule would allow us to have z last right v and w before x then maybe u and then maybe z so this is allowing things that were not allowed with our old rule x is immediately before or immediately after u well that is not going to force w or z to be before x so that is not not restrictive enough x is in the fifth or the sixth spot well, we could have x in the fifth spot and a z after it, for example, right? And some other things. So this is not going to force z to be before x. So only a is equivalent to the rule that says w and z are before x.